أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله عليك يا ولي العصر أدرك السلام عليكم brothers and sisters hope you are all doing well in this video we'll have a small discussion on the topic of istighfar we all know that we have committed a lot of sins some of them we committed unintentionally while others we committed while knowing that Allah is watching us and i'm sure none of us can even count how many sins we have committed but despite that allah has concealed our sins from everyone so we should never lose hope in allah's mercy and constantly ask for the forgiveness of our sins if a person is truly ashamed of his or her bad deeds and sincerely repents allah will forgive them all let's understand this through a story One day Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salam told a story to his companions. The story starts with a thief from Bani Israil who had a friend who became very sick. Knowing he wouldn't live long, his friend called for the thief and asked him to fulfill a desire. He showed him two shrouds to choose one for himself so that the other one would be used to bury his friend. The thief chose the better shroud for himself, but his friend made him promise not to steal the shroud after he was buried the thief because of the friendship he had with his friend agreed and left the next day when his friend was buried the thief said to himself now that my friend is buried and he is dead how would he know if i broke his promise so he goes to the grave he digs up the grave and as he is about to steal the shroud the dead body speaks out in a loud voice saying don't do it this scares the thief and the thief out of fear fills up the grave and leaves without the shroud now when the thief himself near death he was worried about his fate so he called his sons and made a strange will and in his will he told his sons to burn his body into ashes and throw half of his ashes in the sea and the other half in the desert because he had been a good father to his sons his sons acted upon the will so when he died and after his body was burnt into ashes allah subhanahu wa taala the almighty the all powerful gathered all his scattered ashes and turned him back alive and asked him why did you make such a strange will he replied by saying by your might i feared your chastisement i feared your punishment you know what allah said allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said i have forgiven you and changed your fear into safety and also satisfied the people who had claims of rights upon you subhanallah what do we learn from this the story highlights allah's mercy over those who are truly ashamed of what they have done in the past of their bad deeds and have the fear of allah in their hearts no matter how many sins you have done no matter how big they are never lose hope in allah's mercy as allah says in surah zumar ayah number 53 qul ya ibadi alladhina asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu min rahmatillah ان الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا انه هو الغفور الرحيم say o oh my servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning do not despair of the mercy of allah surely allah forgives all sins indeed he is the all forgiving and the all merciful so never lose hope in allah's mercy and never think that your sins are bigger than allah's mercy He is so forgiving that he has gifted us this holy month of Ramadan which is an excellent opportunity for all of us to seek forgiveness of our sins. Allah will wipe out our sins as if we are a newborn baby if we truly repent in this month. He has given us a chance to wipe our record and make a fresh start. So do istighfar as much as you can and involve in good deeds as much as you can. to not let this opportunity go to waste but always remember that when you seek allah's forgiveness for a sin that you have committed you don't go back to committing the same sin 
as Imam Ali السلام, says, He who seeks Allah's forgiveness from a sin that he keeps on committing is deriding his Lord. Let us leave all the bad deeds that we have committed so far and start making positive change in our lives, which will make the Imam of our time proud. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين التماس دوا. See you in the next video, inshallah. Take care. Khuda Hafiz.